Welcome to Highline Excel class number 17. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 3, Business 214. Hey, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 3 website. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about filtering. What is filtering? Well, we give it some criteria like Toyota, and it gets rid of all of the records that don't match that criteria by hiding the rows. Now there's a few ways to turn on filter. You could go to the data and then the filter button. In the earlier versions, you went to the data menu and then auto filter. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift L. And Control Shift L is a toggle, so it turns on and off your filter. Now um, you could also Control T, as we talked about in earlier videos, and create a table. And the table is great because it formats and does all sorts of other things, including sorting and filtering built in. I'm going to Control Z. I'm just going to do Control Shift L. Now, filter. Let's just try it. Uh, I'm going to select, uh, come down here, unchecked all. So, one way to filter is by using the check boxes. I'm going to uncheck all and then click on the uh, not the Audi, the uh, Toyota, and then click OK. Just like that, only Toyota records are shown. Notice the row headers are blue. That means that some rows are hidden. Now, a very important aspect of filter, and this data set isn't very big here. If I highlight this whole filter table and copy, and now Notice what's happening. Only the visible cells has been copied. So by default, when you filter, if you copy it, copy knows that you don't want any of the hidden records. This is different than subtotals. When you copy, it copies all the hidden rows also. So you can immediately tell by the visible cells that when you copy, it'll work. I'm going to insert a new sheet. Shift F11, and then I can Control V, and it pastes just the records from that particular uh, filter. Now I'm going to go back over here to turn. I'm going to click Escape to turn off the dancing ants, and then notice there's a filter button, a little filter on there. Now I can come up here and say Clear Filter. You could also go up to uh, the date here, and right there is the Clear Filter button. I'm going to say Clear. Oh, I right here. Clear filter. So main key realize that the rows are hidden. Another awesome feature in 2007 is you, you saw, we saw an earlier video that you could sort. We also saw that you could filter. So when I filter by red, it shows me just the red. That blue right there means that those rows are hidden. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to uh, click on this one too to show you can do two filters. So now I'm going to filter unselect all and select Toyota only. So that's two filters that we've done. Notice there's a filter symbol there and there. Um, sometimes if you have lots of filter, instead of going to each one individually, um, and by the way, the, control, the keyboard shortcut Control Shift L would toggle off the filter and, get, and unhide all the rows. But I'm just going to go up here because I want to keep filtering. Clear, and it clears everything. Some amazing new features. 2007 text. You can say equals, does not equals, begins with, ends with, contains, does not contain, all sorts of amazing text filters. Let's look at date. Oh, wow. If I um, click that um, plus to turn it to a minus, which means it's all expanded, you could see that it's organizing all of these dates. Wow, that is amazing. So you can check and uncheck whichever ones you want. So if I wanted, say, to, to not show 2010 and not 2008, but just 2009, I could do that. Click OK. Amazing date filter. Also over here, I'm going to get rid of this. Under, if you have numbers, then uh, you have a number filter here. Equals does not equal. No way above average. We used to have to do this with uh, advanced filter and a formula. I'm going to click Above Average, and it's just going to show me the ones above average. That is just amazing. Calculates the average and everything. I'm going to get rid of that filter there. So these, um, depending on what's in the field, number, date, text, etc., 
um, it will show up some special option here. Um, a few more things about filter. Now I'm going to do a second filter right here. A, it's unselect all. I'm just going to show three. Click OK. So now we have two. We have a filter there and there. So the only city threes above average were these two particular records. Now I'm going to show you if we Control Shift L. Remember that's a toggle. Not only does Control Shift L toggle it back to a regular range without the filter drop downs at the top, but it shows all the uh, records. So I'm going to Control Shift L. The uh, last thing we can look at is text filters. And at the bottom of each one of these, there's a custom filter. If you can't find what you want here, come down to custom. Same with the number here. Number filters way down at the bottom. You can't see it. It says custom. So if you can't quite find what you want, come down to custom. And then you could say equals, does not equals, greater than. So you could do a between less than, uh, does not begin with, all sorts of. Uh, and then you could put your criteria in. And uh, if you do an or, and is going to be on the um, both criteria have to be met. Or means that one or the other or both can be met. In addition, question mark means a single wild card. Asterisk means as many as possible. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to try this. Oh, hey, what did I do? My data set is gone. <laughs> no problem. I did a filter where the criteria I put in was just basically nothing. Didn't exist. So I'm going to clear that. Uh, let's try a come all the way down here to custom. And I'm going to say equal, how about between? Where's the between? There was a between um, less than, OK, so less than or equal to is less than or equal to, and I'm going to say uh, 30,000. And we're going to say, so that's less than or equal to that. But greater than is greater than or equal to 20,000. So it'll give me the ones between. Click OK. So in there you can see all of the values between. There's actually a built-in uh, between filter. I'm going to clear this. Boop. So a uh, between right here. And you notice it actually filled in exactly what we did by hand. The custom auto filter. Basically, you don't need it very much anymore because of the amazing new uh, built-in ones, again, uh, on this list here. But if for some reason you don't find it here, there's that custom. All right, filter quite powerful. Uh, when we come back, we'll look at subtotal.